Hello, my awesome and amazing Geminis. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. So whether you have been in no contact and or possibly breadcrumb communication, how are they thinking about you? How are they feeling about you? Let's find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Gemini viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Got the power of number. Oh, wait a minute. I almost wrote the number 11. I was seeing 11 for some reason, but it was the number 10. Number two and ten. Wow, ten to <laughs> ten to ten. <laughs> All right, going to the number twenty two, Gemini. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio born in the month of October. Others of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You might also be dealing with one of the fixed signs of the zodiac. That would include Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, possibly Scorpio. Picking up on Aries energy through the number one and also the number zero. Gemini energy coming in through the number one and Virgo. Virgo energy coming in through the number one as well. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. Others of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. So that's what's coming up in the numbers at this moment. A lot of twos, three twos, two ones, two zeros. So power of number 22, what does your person want to say to you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, whoops, and twenty-two. <laughs> Trusted ancestors of my Gemini viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Gemini's person unto them? Show me what's up. Okay. I have the Six of Wands in the reverse. Something about social media. I don't know if this person blocked you on social media or if you blocked your specific person. You might have seen something on social media, Gemini, that was highly unfavorable in your eyes about your person. Or I can look at it in this direction too with the Six of Wands. First off, you could also be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius more specifically. Something may not be working out for them in their favor or there's no forward movement, or they haven't been as social, so being antisocial right now. Six of Wands in the reverse. Maybe they're in a ho-hum, ho you know, uh, kind of energy right now. It almost feels like hermit mode. You two could have gotten into an argument, maybe through text message, Maybe over the phone or on a social media platform. Something about going into singlehood. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Again, a Nine of Pentacles. They really have been focusing in on themselves, but the Nine of Coins is a singlehood card. So if they were dating somebody else, third party situation, something's not working out and they're going to be single. Let's go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Yeah. 
you came closer than anyone. So you know what? With that six of wands, whoever they were dealing with, their friends, if it's another lover, whatever the case may be, nothing compares to you, Gemini. I wish I had treated you better. Hmm. Gemini, are you elevating your life right now? I sincerely hope so. You may be catching a lot of attention through, you know, new social circle of people and your, maybe your career, your finances are doing very well, or you're working in on your passions right now. Maybe they're getting tailwind through the grapevine and now they're wishing that they treated you better. Like, damn, I missed out with a good thing with Gemini. Yeah, you did. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. They could be freeing themselves from a toxic, narcissistic, abusive situation, karmic relationship, if it's karmic friends, family members. They need to release themselves. And maybe they gave you no choice but to free yourself from the connection with them because they weren't giving you what you wanted, Gemini. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, you know, it kind of feels like they have these intentions to come back around the bend again and them wanting you to keep an open mind, maybe to see this new and ultra different perspective of them. Bottom of the deck, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Interesting. But there are no coincidences in life. The two of you were supposed to meet one another. Some things are just predestined. And the other flip side of the coin is that we are a part of that destiny. We are remembering more of our future every single day. Let's go into... I have to deal with my pain to be able to open my heart to love again. So maybe by the time they come around, you might not be ready to take them back, even if you wanted to. The other flip side of the coin, they may have to go through a healing process because if something's not working out in their favor and they're having to free themselves from a karmic relationship, they need to get grounded and balanced again. which is what that Nine of Pentacles is, solid ground. We both require a period of healing. So Gemini, I already feel like you are going through the healing factor right now. You're really truly coming into your own, coming into your own personal power. It's been hard, it's been a long road. You guys have had a lot of mountains and molehills to get and climb over. The communication is, you know, definitely your number one priority because you don't like being left in the dark. And this person left you in the dark on many, many, many numerous things. If anything of maybe a learning lesson in this connection, Gemini, is that this person, they might have made you look at yourself in the mirror to see how magnificent in truth you really are even if it didn't feel that way in the early stages or whenever they broke up with you or walked away from you, you know, definitely feeling down and out, feeling anxiety, maybe some depression going on, a lot of crying or sadness, but to truly understand your value and realizing you don't need to settle for less than what you deserve. Stop settling, Gemini. You deserve the very best. I feel so guilty about my action and what I said to you. They need to free themselves from the guilt. It's not about brushing things under the rug. Them coming forward, being authentic and transparent. Exactly. I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. It's really them feeling sure that they can actually go the distance with you, Gemini, and not this piddly... Uh, in and out inconsistency. Bottom of the deck, I think about you so much. It's scaring me. So don't think that this person has forgotten about you, Gemini. They haven't. 
they're in some form of reflection because something did not work out for them and nothing compares to you. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. But you just need to keep coming into that feeling, Gemini, of being chosen. A mindset reset doesn't matter if it's with this person or another person. Bottom line, you're awesome. You're amazing, okay? You have a lot of talent and creativity, a lot of special gifts. A lot of you guys are so spiritually gifted and very intuitive. But this person just couldn't, they couldn't level up, you guys. They just couldn't level up to your status. And, and they really didn't bring a whole lot of substance to the table. But they are thinking about you. And it feels like they have these intentions to come back around, possibly make you an offer. But I don't even think that they know entirely what that plan is. My awesome and amazing Geminis, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.